Hello, this is Dual Cousin Survival, but it's only me, Austin, right now, because sooner or later, my cousin and I are going to go up to Santee, like I said in the video before this. So, today, right now, I'm going to be talking about what you should bring if you are part of a group and you're just a fisherman. You don't bring survival stuff or anything. You're just a fisherman. I personally like to have a one man backpack. That's for me. But for if you use the phone at the time, waterproof cases. You're gonna need a waterproof case. You will also need a multi tool with at least one knife blade. Got this one fifteen dollars at Chrissy's. And of course you're gonna need one fishing pole. I have two. I have survival ones and all that, but just in case you don't wanna have a survival one and you just wanna have a regular one. I have a mini fishing pole with a crick cricket ruler or lure. Not ruler. Lure. It's hard to talk right now. Um, but this one you could just like take out a bunch of line, just like And then let it drop in the water and let it sink. And then all you have to do is reel back up just slightly and then let it sink again. And fish will... It's always the ones that look like they're natural prey. So if a fish... If you're in an area where there's a lot of crickets, you're going to want a cricket lure. This... The lure I'm using was from a crappy... Crappy... Crappy set so if you if you're at a place where there's a lot of crappies you don't want that but back to my backpack or my fishing backpack what I have here is for if you go night fishing all that I have a headlamp also for survival purposes just in case and I have pliers for taking out fish and putting on split shots. And for making fires if you have to during a survival situation, I have a flint and steel striker. As you can see. Gerber. And I have a foldable cup. I don't know why, it's just in there. Just in case you just want to take a drink, you have a canteen. Fresh, clean water. Probably about a $2 for a two. So, my other ones in my other backpacks. And that's when I'll be doing a survival video on soon. Uh... But now, I'm going on to this area. So, if you go around foraging the forest for an actual, like, live bait, you can... I got this old glasses fun case in there. And I also have an old survival kit case. That's for doing stuff. In. And to scout out different places where you could fish, I always keep binos. Binos for kind of short, long distance areas, and let me just take in my dogs for a second. They're freaking outside barking. I'll edit out with their barks. If you hear them playing in the background, I'm sorry. So, yeah, no delay. Stop. Okay, so now I'm going to go more inside of my backpack. I have multi-species lures. I have a big pack right here. And here are the hooks, the lures, the some more lures and 
all that bobbers. And here are scented baits. Now all these I got at Bass Pro Shops. And they all fit into my little camel backpack right here. So you can fit three sets of this into there. So this backpack is for about, oh, like, to last you a long time worth of fish and other food. So I have this mini fishing kit or fishing pole that I have cricket on right now. And you're going to want a multi-tool. Some bait catching bags. A cup for if you want to sit down and have a drink. If it's fresh water. Fresh water. But so you should boil it in a canteen or something. Flint and steel, steel striker. Fish pliers. Binos, head stuff, oh and I forgot, I honestly love waterproof watches that can obviously go underwater for a long time and you're also going to want a phone case that, that's waterproof. So yeah, that was my video, and leave down in the comments if you want me to do different types of bags, like if you want to be a hunting person and you want to have a solo hunting kit or something, and if you do different things and you want different things, just tell me and I will see what I can do. I will see what I can do. I, I probably can't. Do it if it's something really big, but I could do if you're like a major in the cook. So I'm a I'm a agriculturist and I uh, I'm also a fishing person. So I grow plants like artichoke and different kinds of uh, basil's and pineapple and all that, so I specialize, I specialize in agriculture and other stuff, so if you want like a little farming packet kit that you should think of using, I will probably do a video on those. So, I posted two videos today, and that was all those other things and all that. So yeah, thank you. This was Dual Cousin Survival without... Alex, my cousin. So, thank you. Have a great day.